Hello everybody. I'm just going to do a little update video on the last video I had. Well, I came in today, I got my grape solar panel, and I'm going to open it. I haven't touched it yet. This is a high claim item. There's these two little bang ups here. So let's open it and just see if it's cracked, see if I got to return it. But this was less than $100. After tax, it came to like 104 I think. Oh great, no, I'm not going to be able to open it. I'll speed that up. Oh, I don't want to wreck the package in case I gotta send it back. So maybe I should try and open it on the end. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna be in pain right now. Okay. I'm gonna have to get a razor blade. I got this handy dandy little razor that just sticks out just a little bit, so. It won't hurt anything. I think. I think. How should I open this? Let's do it right here. Oh, here it comes. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know, it looks a little bit bigger than mine, but maybe my other 100 waters from Renergy, but maybe not. You only got one? Yeah, because I already have two, so. And um, I only have a 20 amp controller, so I don't think I can handle any more than 300 watt panels. Oh, here comes Teddy. He's interested. Oh, <clears throat> he likes boxes. So yeah, everything looks good. Of course, see, I got these. Okay, he wants to check it out. So I got these. It looks like I can pop this off pretty easy, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll pop that off and take a look if if it comes off easy. I'm not a big fan of these wires, but. If I have to make them work, I will. But here's the ratings on it. It is. I don't know if you can see this or not. 100 watt panel. Maximum power point voltage 18 volts. Maximum power current 5.56 amps. Uh, open circuit open circuit voltage 21.9 volts the weight is 18.11 pounds or 8.2 kilograms uh, max system voltage 600 volts fuse rating 10 amp fire rating class C field wiring copper only sweet 10 AWG minimum awesome Awesome, so you're telling me that these wires might be copper already? I'm gonna make, this comes with, talking about series and parallel connections and how to hook it up. This is actually a pretty informative little book that they threw in. Something you don't get with Renergy. Or I didn't anyway. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a good panel, guys. Oh. And I almost forgot, I did get these on the mounting hardware for this particular solar panel. It wasn't too bad, I think it was about $14, $15. I mean, they're nice, nice hardware, thick, with the proper size holes that match up with that panel, so why not, you know? I'll go out and buy some wire to run and, and make my own connections. I gotta check and make sure that wire is copper. Um, hopefully it is and I can get some copper wire, solder the connection, heat shrink it, and be good to go. I'm not a huge fan of those connectors, but mostly I'm not a fan of the price of the wire. So, and if they're aluminum, I guess I'll have to buy some aluminum wire off the spool at Home Depot and I don't know how I'm going to solder aluminum, if anybody knows how to do that, or I'll just have to look up how to do that. I really don't want 
a crimp connector or anything like that. I mean, maybe I could use a crimp connector and heat shrink and it would be okay. I don't know. Any comments on that would be appreciative. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to pop that cover off in the back. I'm just going to cut the wire a little bit just to see if it's copper. I don't, it says copper, but I highly doubt it. The thickness of that wire tells me it's probably aluminum. So, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Peace.